Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money Hey guys, um, welcome back to another weekly vlog um, If you're new here, hi uh, My name is Nakwaya um, So I know my energy levels are a bit low oh, might come off as a bit low It's just that I'm really hungry um, I am about to make myself a smoothie And then I want to go to the gym um, our gym is opening back up or opened back up today so I'm very excited because I haven't been there okay you guys so I've got some fruit here and some spinach and then I'm gonna be using coconut milk I usually just add water to my smoothies but last week I asked my husband to buy me coconut milk and he said that he could only find the biggest size in the whole store so I don't want it to go completely to waste so yeah so basically I'm just gonna show you this um I'm gonna take my like them baby girl you can spend it uh -huh. and everything is alright I like how you doing alright alright like how you think alright always on top of yeah oh yeah like how you do it alright everything good alright alright like how you think Not bad. Not bad. I don't mind it. Um, so yeah, I'm about to do some oh, this lighting angle is so bad. Hold on. I'm about to do some work while drinking my smoothie and then I'm gonna go to the gym. Um I wanna show you guys something. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I bought the Jackie Aina candle line that she launched a couple of I think it was in july that she announced it and then i bought it um in the beginning of august and it actually only arrived this weekend so it took about a month to come but they had already indicated that so i kind of knew it would be a long wait but i got this over the weekend and i actually haven't even smelt the candles yet just because i've been so busy and i wanted to also like shoot it for content on my blog and do a review on my blog and i just haven't had time so i just decided to leave it and not touch it but um i wanted to also show you guys so um actually let me put this it's so heavy uh, on the ground so i can show you guys quickly so this is the box it literally comes like this in a box like this um and then if you open it it says open to to get life and then the candles hang here so i got the gift set because on the website like um they had like this one would maybe be sold out or you know so i decided to get the whole set which i won't lie was a bit pricey i probably wouldn't buy this again but i really wanted to support her um so that's why i got got the gift set um so it has caked up left on red cuffing season and matcha business i won't lie the names for this are just not for me i'm more here for the smells so i'm not too bothered with the naming of it but like I'm not the biggest fan of, of, of the names. I feel like that's just not my vibe, but it's definitely her her vibe and I completely get it. Um, why they named that, like it's absolutely her. Um, so, so this is the first one, Caked Up. It smells really good. No, I won't let it smells really good it's a very sweet smell but it doesn't smell too artificial which is good because um because a lot of times when you buy candles and then they have that sweet smell it's too artificial to the point where you don't even want to burn them and i hate that i hate that so it means that the wax used and whatever they use to like flavor it or whatever give the scent it's very it's it's high quality um material this is left on red it's also a good smell it's not bad but no lie it's re it's giving me bathroom vibes like <laughs> it's not a bad smell but this is the type of smell you get sometimes that people use in their bathrooms which is not a bad thing 
which is not a bad thing because I have two bathrooms so I could use it um, this is cuffing season oh I think this one is my favorite very oh it reminds me of I think it's a bit masculine oh but I really love it oh my goodness I think oh this one is really good I wish I could describe the scents for you guys but I'm clearly very bad at that so I'm sorry you guys but this smells so good it's a masculine scent but quite sweet too I don't know it's reminding me of you know how when you smell things and then they just take you to, back to certain periods of your life this is just reminding me of being younger like is it my dad maybe I don't know it's, it's very masculine it reminds me of a masculine scent but I can't place who's um, and then this one is called matcha business hold on okay okay this is my least favorite it is too sweet it's starting to feel artificial for me the scent is too sweet I didn't expect this because when you think of matcha you definitely don't think of sweet at all I did not expect this to smell like this I'm actually I'm not impressed with this matcha business one I, it's not what I was expecting and I, I don't think I was I'm very impressed it's not a bad smell it's just not for me yeah no 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 but yeah guys those are the Jackie Aina candles um, I'm gonna do a full review on them on my blog um, hopefully soon hopefully soon so definitely keep an eye out for that and I'll try and make be more expressive and um, descriptive in, in 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 my blog but again it's always it's easier for me to write um my feelings than to speak. hey you guys so i am finally back from my missions in the city i'm so exhausted so hot wow like i'm so tired like i just literally tied my hair up right now because it was just too hot um but yeah i'm back home and i quickly want to show you guys a few things that I just picked up now in Sephora and then a package that I had ordered maybe over the weekend. Um, I'm really hungry and you know you guys know it's Friday and Yom and I usually get our pizza on Fridays and because today I was out, um, I met Yom at the train station on his way from work so we walked back together and then both got our pizza date so we got pizza so Yom's taking a shower uh, so I'm just gonna wait on him maybe I don't know before we eat because I'm really hungry too um, yeah but to pass the time while I wait for your monitor to show you guys what I got so I'm gonna put you guys down okay guys so I'm gonna start with the Sephora stuff first just because I don't have to unbox but I went into Sephora and there are a few things that I've been eyeing over the past couple of months guys I haven't bought makeup in a while the last time I bought makeup I don't even remember like the last time I was in Sephora was in June July end of June when I restocked up on my um, skincare but even then I did not buy a single lick of makeup I just bought my skincare because like I needed face wash and like I had run out didn't buy anything so I've been re like doing really well in terms of um, makeup but there's been quite a few launches over the past few months and i was like okay it's enough now stop it i need to get in on the action so i bought myself these they're the one size um, makeup remover wipes by patrick star everyone says these are amazing and i'm a i i am a makeup wipe girl i don't care guys it tags your skin what what mm -hmm. i'm gonna be using makeup wipes till the day i die okay so I got these and I got the the normal size because it comes in this size and in a tra travel size so I got these um, I also got this this is not a new product but it's new to me I've never used it I actually just saw it on someone's um, YouTube the other day this is the Sephora bronzed or matte bronzer and I got it in the shade Ibiza 
um this bronzer you guys know i always use the cover girl one but i decided that you know what let me let me try something new and i thought i'll try the sephora one only because it looks very pretty only because i have their their micro baked or whatever smooth powder that i always use on my face and i really enjoy that um and then i also picked up the nars soft matte complete foundation which is actually new because the nars have the um radiant long wear the one before that came bef the one that came before radiant long wear i forget what it's called now and then this one is a soft matte one and i was really interested because i love the radiant long wear foundation by nars and i i was like listen if they're doing a matte one i'm here for it this is what it looks like um and it's 45 milliliters one and a half ounces and they say it's a soft matte and it doesn't oxidize all of these nice things so i'm really excited to try this out especially in the few like the month and a half left of summer because I haven't been wearing makeup because it's just too much so I'm really interested to do this uh, to try this one out and I'm gonna do a whole review on my channel so y'all better look out for that and then I also got the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish um, powder guys I don't know one single person that doesn't rave come on focus that doesn't rave about this this thing doesn't want to focus um so many people rave about this powder for your under eyes so i decided i'm gonna get it i don't usually buy um charlotte tilbury because it's uh, the products are expensive no lie so this is what it looks like very pretty very expensive and i got it in the shade number four which is deep it's actually this is actually the darkest color they have but it's fine because it's for the under eyes so I don't need it to be too dark there we go please focus um, so yeah so I tried this and I'm excited to use this too and then I got first of all did you guys know that Selena Gomez yesterday launched a makeup line did you know because I saw it, but I, did, I thought she was maybe just doing a collab with a brand. Turns out it's her own line. So when I went into Sephora today, they had a whole promotion. Literally, the sales advisors were everywhere pushing this line. Like, there's one poor lady, guys. She did not stand a chance. Like, the way that sales guy was on her. Like, the moment she found her shade in the foundation, he was already like, And do you have a brush for that? Do you have a concealer for that? Yeah, I said, Lord... So anyway this i got the the foundation her her makeup line is called rare beauty and it's got lip 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 lipsticks it's got concealer it's got a foundation slash concealer it's got the foundation um it's got like some high, liquid highlighters what else did i see and a bunch of stuff so i got the liquid touch weightless foundation guys if there's anything that will sell me if is if when you say a foundation is weightless because i love feeling like there's nothing on my face um so it says that this is a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow and i got it in the shade 520 w um this is not my exact match but I, I usually go a shade darker because my forehead is darker than my face. But because I contour and highlight, it um, balances out. But let me open this and show you guys. This is what it looks like. Um, very minimal, actually. It, it reminds me of like Kim Kardashian's house guys. I feel like she has a stone sculpture 
that looks like the top of this bottle but this is what it looks like and again i'm also gonna try this out for you guys it doesn't say if it's mattifying or whatever i'll probably have to like go on the website and look that up but i do know that it's medium to full coverage so that's all i got from sephora you know your girl kept it together you know 2020 is the year of good financial decisions now the next thing i bought you guys i'm sure you guys have heard about this brand called the honey pot it's like a um feminine hygiene care or feminine hygiene brand um that is black owned and is fully organic a couple of months ago it was all over the news here because some lady had complained saying that you know talking about why is target making room for like these kind of products like by black entrepreneurs on its shelves something like that basically it was a karen crying about why shelf space was being given to black ladies and then what happened was that of course everyone went and bought out this lady's entire line to show that listen we we are here and we're gonna buy black products so um since then it's it's so hard to find this part this line in store um i ended up actually buying it online because the target that i go to they don't have it in store they they only have it online and it arrived today and i'm so excited like i've never been more excited to get my period than i'm gonna be for this so so i got the organic tampons right this is an 18 pack it's plant-based feminine care so it's completely organic even the plastic and the uh, applicator for the tampon is bioplastic there's no chlorine no pesticides no fragrances so i'm super excited about that um because honestly you guys i feel like as women we need to be more caught cautious and knowledgeable about the things that we put in our bodies because i feel like we literally just go in the store and grab a pack of lilies or cotex or whatever but we never really look at what's inside these things and what um chemicals they're using to prepare them because like for example some brands bleach the cotton so imagine all that bleach is in you if you wear a tampon or if you're wearing a pad and literally your body is in contact with that all that time you know so I have been wanting to go organic for a while now um, so these are the tampons I also got another pack this is the regular so I got the regular and then I got the um, super um, absorbencies so this is the regular it's also an 18 pack and then I bought some panty liners These are the everyday herbal infused panty liners. So again, fully organic, fully plant based, no pesticides, no fragrances, no chlorine, but they do have cooling mint. They are infused with lavender, which is calming, and then aloe, which is soothing. Um, and then I got the wipes just like feminine wipes if only this is focus come on focus for me oh okay hold on good okay there we go it's focusing now i think i hope it focused you guys so these are the normal wipes and again fully plant-based no parabens no dioxides and it says you can use it on your intimate parts on your body and your face and that is that is fun that is good to know and then the last thing i got was the Okay, 
the last thing I got was the honey pot um, this is the foaming wash so like the, the intimate wash for down there um, again 100% natural it's got like a neutral pH I think pH 3.5 to 4.5 where are my science people at let me know um, it's pH balance for you um, yeah and I, I got the normal one I think they have like a sensitive one as well um, yeah so this is the foaming wash um, and I'm excited you guys like you have no idea like I've been wanting to make the switch but I've just been putting it off because I guess it's so easy to go into the into the store and just get the usual stuff that I'm used to but now like I'm not looking back again um, hey guys so Saturday um, afternoon um, we just got ready we're about to meet some friends and we're going to Coney Island and I think I'll take the camera along just to show you guys a little bit of that but yeah I am wearing the NARS matte foundation that I bought yesterday and I actually really like it we'll see how long it stays matte for but it applied really well and I mean I, I think I look very very matte but I did use a mattifying primer too um, but this is the kind of face I prefer when it's hot like New York is hot because then I'm like I feel like my face will stay together for longer so this is my face and I'm wearing this dress from misguided that I showed you guys on my last haul misguided haul which I'll link up here um, so that's what I'm wearing and I did this head scarf hairstyle and I just braided my hair a little bit oh oops so yeah and then I did some hoops this hairstyle is very different for me but apparently different is what it's not bad so yeah um, so I'll see you guys on the way to Coney Island hey guys so hmm, as you can tell it's nighttime right I don't vlog at all during the afternoon I know I said I was gonna bring you guys to Coney Island but listen it was just nice being in the moment we hadn't seen our friends what for in a year now Almost, yeah. Yeah, because the last time we saw them was Thanksgiving okay. last year, which was in November last year. So we hadn't seen them. Um, so it was good just to catch up and just, you know, hang out. So I, I honestly got caught up and I didn't vlog. Um, but I will say this. Um, I think Coney Island's time has passed. Hey, babe. You don't think so? No. Really? Like I feel like everything looks so dated. It's like you're literally going to a like a carnival or like a play park in the 70s or the 80s. So I'm like that time has come and passed. Um, maybe I'll go there for the beach. Because the beach didn't look too packed but that was about it but we did have like pizza at this little cutish little place so it was nice it was a good day um yeah the bright side my makeup okay this nars formula top of the line because look at my face granted like down here it's a mess because obviously my mask so focus on my forehead it still looks pretty good granted I did use a very mattifying primer like I said but and I didn't like powder or whatever it's still pretty good so it's a good formula I must say like um, I'll have to try it out on a really hot New York day where I use the subway aka go underground because that's the kind of heat that most foundation brands can come back from so that will really be the test hey you guys just one more thing before I go I was gonna take my makeup off and I decided to come on here and show you guys these wipes they're the Patrick Star one size uh, makeup remover wipes um, I've heard so many good things about these and I want to see how they all work um, just a disclaimer I do wash my face after using makeup wipes I just use the makeup wipes to remove 
the top layer of makeup. First of all, these are huge. These are really big. It's like a whole napkin for your face. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. One wipe literally took that all off. Obviously, I also have to wash, but one wipe did that. That's really good. Um, they do feel softer than my Neutrogena ones. They definitely feel softer. They're not as abrasive, so that's good. I like the size because you really get to go in on your face like one wipe can do so much hmm. and I like the smell too it's like a I don't know cucumber maybe yo yo wow yo you're not wearing any makeup so we are use these ones we are cleaning our faces oh <laughs> Aren't you opening our faces? No, I'm removing makeup. Fine. When I have to go buy some words of her, I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> no, you're not. Be my makeup. Oh, listen, I've used half. I can even give you a take your half. Bring it. Bring take care, take care, take care. Bring both take my house. Take care, take care. Take care. Guys, please pardon this interruption, but this makeup wipe does the things. I feel like it's quite gentle on your face compared to others. Like comparing to my Neutrogena ones, it's much, much less abrasive. It's much less abrasive and it has a nice smell and it does remove a lot of makeup because usually it would take me two Neutrogena wipes to get to this level because this is where I'm usually comfortable enough to start now washing my face with my face wash. Always on top, alright, oh yeah, I wanna know it tonight, I wanna be the one to surprise you, wake you up in the morning, I wanna be the one that you call. Hi guys, so um, I wasn't able to put up today's vlog so I thought I'll just extend it. Um, so it's Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, we came to Central Park. Um, we wanted to see the Belvedere Castle or Tower which is in like the middle of Central Park and we just got here so I'm going to quickly show you guys like a pan view of the place. So this is the tower and this is what it overlooks. So if you're standing up here, this is essentially the view. Um, and then that's what it looks like. we come over this side so this is the same view but just from a different angle how pretty is it okay so we've come to the castle i don't know if that door on the other side typically opens or not um, but probably because of corona it's closed so we're kind of just hanging out here on what would be like the terrace or balcony situation. Okay. Honestly, guys, my um, I only came for the drinks after. <laughs> I 
came for the sundowners. Any person already have money for drinks? I have my own money for <laughs> drinks, okay? I just need someone to sit with me. I'm the star in your dream. Hey guys, so we finally found a place where we could have drinks and dinner. And it took a lot of walking to actually find one, right? We're actually on our way back to like this place that's like right by our house because we had pretty much given up. And then we managed to see a spot that had one table free and then we got it. Like everyone is out and about in these streets today. But um, yeah, we're waiting for our food now. We've both ordered what base short rib. Yeah. Very short rib and then I ordered a cocktail and you got some wine. So yeah. We're gonna eat and just hang out. Because tomorrow's not work, so we can be hmm, out and about in these streets. Not that we will be, but mm -hmm. we can. We have the option to do so. But we won't be, we're just gonna have dinner and then Oh, we can actually go to the... Is it safe to go to the park? Oh yeah, we always go at 8. Yeah, so we can probably walk past the park on our way home. And then that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, do you guys eat the bread that comes to your table or not? No, so I don't because like as much as I want to like I get full easily and so sometimes when I eat the bread So sometimes when I eat the bread my um, I get full and so then when my food comes I'm not in the mood Anymore, so that's why I always stay away from the bread, but this bread smells really good. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it smells really good. But anyway. So guys, our drinks just came. I got this cocktail over here. Yep, it's an American cocktail, all right? Hmm. They are very generous when they pour. <laughs> but it's actually not bad. It's not bad. It's just really strong. But it's good. But anyway, I think we're gonna have dinner now. So I will end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And Yom's gonna say goodbye to you guys too. Say goodbye.